Okay, welcome to Simple Analog Clock in Python 3, Part 3. Uh, in this part, we're going to learn how to draw the hands. So let's see what we have so far. We should have a clock face, and we should have 12 little notches that show us, you know, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, etc., etc. So what we want to do is we want to draw the hands. So the hands will start here in the center, and they'll go up, they'll go towards, you know, whichever direction they need to go in. So let's get started with that. And... Uh, just taking a look, actually taking a look at what we have. We have a function called draw clock, and here's where we draw the face, and here's where we draw the little hashes. And then what we're going to do is inside this function, uh, we are going to draw. Let's start with the hour hand. Okay. So what we need to do uh, is we need to send the turtle, the pen, to the center of the screen. So I'm going to go pen.penup, and I'm going to say pen.goto, and it's 0, 0. Okay. And that'll bring it to the center. So what we got to think about is, well, first is what color do we want the hour hand to be? So in my case, I chose white. So I'm going to say pen.color white. And you can choose whatever you like. Uh, it doesn't have to be white. And then what you got to do is we need to set the heading of that. So we're going to say pen.set heading 90. And if you recall from the previous video, 90 is straight up. 0 is right, up is 90, 180 is left, and 270 is down. Okay. So now we have to think about this for a second. What we need to do is we need to know the angle of each hour. Okay. So if it's 12 or yeah, you know, basically 12, the angle is going to be 90. We don't need to change. But if I want to go to 1 o'clock, the angle is going to be 30, because each hour is 30 degrees. So 2 o'clock is 60 degrees, 3 o'clock is 90, and so on all the way around. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to say the hour, sorry, the angle equals the hour divided by 12 times 360. Okay. So if the hour is 1, 2, 3, 3 divided by 12 is 25%, 1 quarter. 1 quarter of 360 is 90. So that's going to work for all the different possible hours. So that angle, so, what we, so the angle tells us how much to turn. So we say pen.rt angle. Then we say pen.pen down. And we'll say, so because we want to draw now, say pen.fd100. And that's about the length that, you know, again, I calculate the length of it. Okay. Now, those of you who are following along and paying attention here realize you see the little under, under, red underline here. Um, it's telling us undefined variable h. Okay? And this is one of the good things about uh, Visual Studio Code is it does do those things for you. Um, but if, let's, let's run this. Let's just run this and see what happens. We should get an error. Okay, so it stopped. You'll see down here, um, this is something beginners really need to get used to doing is reading the error messages. So you'll see, okay, trace back. So if you're trying to get help, you want to copy all this information and, you know, share that with whoever's helping you. So you'll see draw clock. So that was the name of the function. That's where it was at when it had the problem. And it tells you the exact line, line 45. So I go to line 45. It says it doesn't know what H is not so it doesn't know what H is. H is not defined. Okay. So what we're going to do is in our function, we're going to put hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay. So we need to tell it what to draw. Okay. So down here, I'm going to say 10 o'clock, 15 minutes, and 0. So let's say it's 10.15 on a Saturday night. And so 10, 15, 0 seconds, and the pen. So notice this 10 matches up with H. This 15 matches up with M. And this 0 matches up with S. So we're basically sending that information uh, to the function to use. So we're saying the hour is 10 o'clock, the minute is 15, and the seconds is 0. And we want you to draw it using that pen. Okay, so let's run that and see what happens.
Okay, so there is our 10 o'clock, because this is the hour hand. So 10 divided by 12 is, you know, whatever it is, times 360, and we went right all the way around here. Okay, so it's probably, what, 300, actually. Um, so, so 0, 300 degrees around, that gives us 10 o'clock. Okay, so again, this is something I always recommend to beginners. If you're going to be doing some similar code, get one thing working. So now what I can do is I can just copy that, paste it, and let's do the minute hand. Okay, and what's going to be different about the minute hand is the color is going to be blue, but you can choose whatever you want. Okay, the angle though, it's going to be m for minute divided by 60 because there are 60 minutes in a in an hour. Okay, otherwise everything is the same, except for we want the minute hand to be longer, so I chose 200 in this case. And you can play around with that number and figure out what you like. Okay, so I've done this, I've changed it, now I'm going to test it. Again, beginners, for whatever reason, they feel like they got to rush on and do everything and then go back and debug. That's a terrible idea. You need to debug as you're going along so you know where the errors are. Okay, so we got 10 and 15. That's a little bit long. Uh, maybe I'll change that to, yeah, I don't, I don't like it overlapping like that. So I'm going to change that number. This is part of the process. You, know, you just kind of, you know, you iterate, you figure out what you like. Okay, that's much better. I like how that's, this gives you a little bit gap still. Okay, but you can play around and do whatever you like. Okay, so again, same thing. Now I'm going to do the second hand. And so the second hand, we want it to be, I'm going to use gold for the color, but you can use whatever you like. And now, fortunately, seconds are also out of 60, so I just need to change that to an S, because we're looking at the seconds, not the minutes. And I'm going to make that maybe about, let's say, 50. Let's try that. And let's run that. Okay, so we got 10 o'clock, 15 minutes and zero seconds. Okay. So what we have now is we have a nice general function which will draw an analog clock on the screen for us. So no matter what time we send it, it will draw that. So if I close that, and let's say, let's say 1, 20, and 42 seconds, for example, and I run that, so you say 1, 20, and 42 seconds. So whatever numbers I send that, it's going to draw the clock that we want. Okay, so stay tuned for our next lesson. We're going to learn how to update that clock and get it uh, animated and running, uh, hopefully on time. Thank you.